everybody, it's Eric Washa here on team member with Mountain State Overland, a guide on a lot of the guided trips, so you might see me around. We're here at Overland Expo East in the Toyo Tires booth and want to show you around our 2018 Toyota Tacoma with an alley cab canopy camper. So let's take a look. This truck's gone through quite a few iterations. A lot of it changed when we started guiding with Mountain State Overland. There's a reason why everything is on this truck. We have Victory 4x4 bumper, skids, full armor, all from Victory a winch, lights. Uh, we actually went with amber lights on the front because my wife and I, when we're not guiding, do a lot of long distance road trips through the mountains. So tires and suspension. This was uh, the first set of mods that we did to the Tacoma. Um, so in West Virginia, where we do a lot of our guided trips, it's a lot of really greasy mud, it's a lot of mud puddles and a lot of gravel. So we needed something that would hold up to those conditions. So we ended up going with skinnies or pizza cutters, 255, 85, 17s. Obviously Toyo, we're here in the Toyo booth and I, we love these tires. They're really quiet on the highway. We do a lot of highway driving being on the East Coast. If Toyo didn't come out with this new tire, I prop would definitely do another set of these. So they're just under a 34 and they're mounted on the stock wheels. We have Toy Tech suspension, SPC up to up, upper control arms, does the job very, very well. As mentioned, we have Victory Armor, uh, skid plates underneath, and the sliders. The sliders are pretty sweet because this outer part is actually replaceable. So if it does get damaged for whatever reason, we can separate it from the brackets that attach to the frame and actually replace them. The other piece that I really like about the Victory sliders is that there's actually built-in lights here, um, rock lights. Uh, we end up using them more for area lighting around camp. If we just look up front here, again, got a Victory 4 before rack. We actually modified this on our own. Uh, it did go all the way back. You can see these brackets here, but now we have it and mount our max tracks on top. It makes it really easy to, to get to. So this is the Alley Cab Canopy Camper. When we initially started building the truck, we actually had a bed rack and a rooftop tent on the top. That really was for my wife and I, when we were just camping and um, and doing some of the road trips that we do. But what didn't work about that setup as soon as we started guiding is that the tent actually opened to the side. So as a guide, we need to be at camp first. We need to be the first ones to be packed up and the first ones ready to, to go out. We ended up opting for the canopy camper, um, which not only gives us a little bit of interior living space, but also allows us to be a little bit more nimble, set up really quickly um, before everyone else gets up, for example, so that we can start filming around camp. Some other kind of like little fun uh, things that we have, we have a Molly panel here. We uh, mount our radios, easy access. Again, we do a lot of trips out to Colorado with just our family. So we have a ice scraper, ax, just some stuff that we're gonna be using a lot. We do have the shadow awning. Um, I always tell people this is the only awning that I recommend to people because not only is it a 270, but it is super easy to set up and take down. So you end up using it a lot more. We did have a different awning before that required us to fool around with straps and legs. And it just, again, didn't lend itself well to rapid setup and takedown that we need to do on the on these trips. This is a little fun modification that we added. We do a lot of cooking out of this truck on, on the team trips and things like that. So we actually added a a soap dispenser here. It also helps when we have the dogs and stuff. We can just get back to the truck, wash our hands and, and be on our way. The mounted tire and the tire storage bag, we ended up choosing to mount this on the door so that we could have just a little bit more space underneath. We don't want to get hung up on anything underneath. So we opted to put this on the door, um, which lends itself really well to the Blue Ridge Overland gear trash bag up here. It's just a good place to put trash. A couple other things on the back of the door here. Uh, we do have the old, older style GP tables. These are really nice because you can actually put one or both down. If you put one down, it's easier to get up and up and out of the, the camper itself. Deemer box gets mounted here. It's being used over in the OK booth right now. So you'll see that we we actually really love our, our Blue Ridge Revlan gear. Um, it's pretty much the only uh, kind of soft bag that we use for all the gear that we have in our truck. So we have a cook kit here. A lot of the cooking happens in this area. We typically set up the, the alley cab table right here as well. Um, so we have a little kitchen area. Let's take a look inside. One thing that's again really great about these campers is that the bed platform just folds up. There's no moving around any kind of like bedding or anything. It just folds up out of the way on gas struts. You can see again, we have uh, all sorts of Blue Ridge Revlan gear pouches. This is like our little pharmacy kit with allergy meds, etc. 
Uh, we keep a slingshot and a chest set in here for when we're uh, looking for things to do around camp. Campfire stuff, fat wood, uh, and then on this side we have our clean waste toilet uh, bags and our shower pouches. So personal hygiene is very important, um, especially when you're out in the backwoods. Over here we have a uh, electrical panel inspired by the GP Factor Power Board. They just came out with a new version, but I actually made this and put this together myself. Wanted to definitely get a deep dive into 12 volt electrical wiring, and that was quite the learning experience. But the whole electrical system in here is integrated into that control panel. Um, so we can turn on and off the solar with this breaker. Um, we have USB, 12 volts. Uh, you can control all the area lighting, the fridge, all the fans that we have throughout the camper as well. So it just makes it very easy to manage everything from one place. So for cabinets, we went with a uh, goose gear setup, uh, the drawer modules on either side, and then the cabinets on either side. Um, and there just really isn't much that compares uh, with the quality and the craftsmanship of these products. Um, in the back cabinets here uh, is where we keep our chairs. Um, they fold up really nicely and fit in here really well. Um, this is also where we keep our compressor. So the compressor is hooked into the electrical panel and makes it very easy. You don't have to like worry about hooking up hoses or anything. It just sits back here. The compressor and the auxiliary battery, the house battery, are both behind the fridge that I'm currently sitting on. On the other side in this cabinet uh, is where we keep our bottle jack. Uh, I keep fishing poles and, uh, and some other things that we just don't use as much in this side of the cabinet. Now we have here a uh, Dometic 75 dual zone refrigerator fr freezer combo. We went with this to give us the most versatility in terms of how we're traveling. So you can have two freezers, you can have two fridges, you can turn one off, one on. This side, for example, is off right now because it typically is the freezer, but given that we're at Expo, we don't need that. So that's off. This side is just full of LaCroix <laughs> to sustain us through, uh, through Expo East here. For the water system, what's really nice about these campers is that in terms of accessories that you want to add on, whether it's electrical or water, et cetera, uh, there is a solution that comes from Alley Cabs. So this is the Alley Cab water tank. Custom made some of these Molly panels that went over the water tank, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, but behind is fully insulated. So the, the camber is totally insulated with quarter inch closed cell foam, and the water tank and the electrical just up level the camping experience. A lot of our guests who come on these trips uh, are lugging around big jugs, which is totally um, how everyone starts, but they end up using the water from these tanks a lot because it's just so easily accessible and um, can be used from the spigot on the back. Having experienced camping in colder weather, for example, we did the Kentucky Ad Adventure Tour in January of last year. Things just get really cold and freeze up. So the spigot on the back was frozen, wasn't functional. So I actually added a spigot right here so that we can open and get access to the water while we're in the camper itself. The last thing to really cover in the camper is the heater. So this is the Dickinson P9000 sailboat heater with the GP Factor Fitment Kit. Uh, this is quite a luxury, but also a lifesaver. Again, we were camping in like five degree weather in Kentucky last year, and this kept it a toasty, like 45 degrees inside. Because it is an open flame kind of behind here, like as if it was a real fireplace, uh, when it's totally dark and cold outside and this thing's running, it's got quite a romantic ambiance and, and uh, keeps things nice and warm inside. All right, so this is the inside of, of the taco. We recently just upgraded to the Expedition Essentials dash mount, which really just cleaned up everything. The mount itself actually screws into where the head unit is attached to the dash behind all these cosmetic plastic panels. Before we just had uh, some mounts that attached onto the air conditioner vents here, but this was a, a great upgrade. It's pretty solid in there. As we do these guided trips, we're on a lot of gravel. It's, it's pretty bumpy, so um, you can't just use any mount, which is why we end up going with the Expedition Essentials mount and then these Honda garage mounts and 67 designs and RAM mounts. This stuff just does not move when we're going down the road. We've got a, a Midland MXT 400 here that manages all the communications. Truck to truck, which is a big part of our guided trips, really feels like we're all riding together and sharing the experience together. And then for when we're out of range, we do uh, use a Garmin in reach. 
uh, Mini. So that is hooked up to the iPad where we have the Garmin Earth Me app and we can text and handle any kind of navigation through that. But generally I run Gaia, whereas Jason typically runs Garmin devices. So we have a little bit of redundancy there, but I really like the Garmin and the iPad combo. It's just very easy to use. Probably a couple other things to cover. We do have one of the Blue Ridge Overland gear visor organizers, which is handy. Uh, we do keep like a little pepper spray, Sharpies, uh, air pressure gauge. And then the last thing that we don't see in a lot of these canopy camper setups is a always on rear view camera. The camera is actually hooked right above the door in the back of the alley cab canopy camper and wired all the way through up the A-pillar across to the rear view mirror. Um, so that's always on. It records front and back, which is really nice um, and really just increases the confidence that me or my wife have when we're navigating these tight trails in West Virginia, Virginia. So in the back seat here, it's kind of the dog land right now, but um, we do have some other Blue Ridge Overland gear stuff. And so on this side, we just keep some spare, I think there's a couple nuts and bolts. We have like a detail paint kit in here that doesn't get used very much, but it's there if we need it. And then on the other side, we have a first aid kit. As if I pull it this way, it just comes right off. Last thing in the back is the Tacoma Attic by Blue Ridge Overland Gear. It's a good place to stash rain jackets and generally other things that get used a lot. Um, so I typically stash uh, yeah, jackets, sweatshirts, hats back there. It's just an easy access place to keep gear. Thanks for joining us while we walked around my 2018 Tacoma with the Alley Cab Canopy Camper. It is a guide vehicle for Mountain State Overland, so if you are interested in joining one of our trips through West Virginia or Virginia, check us out at, at msoverland on Instagram, mountainstateoverland.com, and you can follow me personally at Erica Washta on Instagram as well. And we'll see you next time.